So our next hymn that I've chosen for our walk through the Lenten season is again one of those that speaks directly to my heart in a very emotional way. There is a balm in Gilead is a pleasant respite from some of the more somber themes of Lent. To hear the sense of comfort and love that comes with these images is good for us to hear as we're walking through this season. Now, Gilead was a mountainous region west of the mouth of the River Jordan, and today it is located in the country of Jordan. The balm itself was likely to be a rare perfume that was used primarily for medicinal purposes during ancient times. The connection made to our modern church is through the chrism oil. Now, this particular oil is blessed by the bishop and distributed to the parishes here in the Diocese of New Jersey once a year during Holy Week. This chrism is used for unction, which is blessing using oils. And it's used at times like the blessing of the dead, um, the anointing of the sick, and the blessings that occur during sacraments such as confirmation and even ordination. In fact, I have a very strong memory of my priesting ordination where the bishop took the chrism oil and blessed both of my palms of my hands in order to symbolize the blessing of these hands that will be brought out to the people who I will care for. And it was very memorable to me because the next morning, even before I opened my eyes, I could smell the oils on my hands and was reminded quite strongly of the commitment that I had made and the fact that, yes, I really was a priest. Now, this chrism itself is made up of olive oil and different spices that are put in to recreate that soothing balm that we hear about in today's hymn. And so let's take a few moments to just embrace and enjoy the peace and the calm of the balm of Gilead. There is a balm in Gilead to make the wounded whole. There is a balm in Gilead that heals the sin sick soul. Sometimes I feel discouraged and think my works in vain. But then the Holy Spirit revives my soul again. There is a bomb in Gilead to make the wounded whole. There is a bomb in Gilead to heal the sin sick soul. If you cannot preach like Peter, if you cannot pray like Paul, you can tell the love of Jesus and say he died for all. There is a balm in Gilead to make the wounded whole. There is a balm in Gilead to heal the sin sick soul. And so some questions that come to mind as we contemplate this particular hymn what would it mean to you if you could preach like Peter? And connected to that, how would it change your prayer life if you could pray like Paul? And have you ever had an experience where your discouragement feels so overwhelming. And when that happens, how do you tap into the spirit to feel that sense of refreshment and renewal that's offered by Jesus, who is our balm in Gilead? Well, thank you for joining me again today. Hopefully today, gave you that little bit of a respite during the Lenten season. 
And until we get together again tomorrow, take care. God bless.